2020-2024 Extra Class FCC Element 4 Question Pool Effective July 1, 2020 Edited by KI5DFU June 2020 Due to the length of this sub-element, it has been split into two parts. Part 2 of sub-element E9 Antennas and Transmission Lines, 8 Exam Questions 8 Groups Matching, matching antennas to feed lines, phasing lines, power dividers. What system matches a higher impedance transmission line to a lower impedance antenna by connecting the line to the driven element in two places spaced a fraction of a wavelength each side of element center? Answer, the delta matching system. What is the name of an antenna matching system that matches an unbalanced feed line to an antenna by feeding the driven element both at the center of the element and at a fraction of a wavelength to one side of center? Answer, the gamma match. What is the name of the matching system that uses a section of transmission line connected in parallel with the feed line at or near the feed point? Answer, the stub match. What is the purpose of the series capacitor in a gamma type antenna matching network? Answer, to cancel the inductive reactance of the matching network. How must an antenna's driven element be tuned to use a hairpin matching system? Answer, the driven element reactance must be capacitive. Which of these feed line impedances would be suitable for constructing a quarter wave Q section for matching a 100 ohm loop to 50 ohm feed line? Answer, 75 ohms. What parameter describes the interactions at the load end of a mismatched transmission line? Answer, reflection coefficient. What is a use for a Wilkinson divider? Answer, it is used to divide power equally between two 50 ohm loads while maintaining 50 ohm input impedance. Which of the following is used to shunt feed a grounded tower at its base? Answer, answer, gamma match. Which of these choices is an effective way to match an antenna with a 100 ohm feed point impedance to a 50 ohm coaxial cable feed line? Answer, insert a 1 fourth wavelength piece of 75 ohm coaxial cable transmission line in series between the antenna terminals and the 50 ohm feed cable. What is the primary purpose of phasing lines when used with an antenna having multiple driven elements? Answer, it ensures that each driven element operates in concert with the others to create the desired antenna pattern. Transmission lines, characteristics of open and shorted feed lines, coax versus open wire, velocity factor, electrical length, coaxial cable dielectrics. What is the velocity factor of a transmission line? Answer, the velocity of the wave in the transmission line divided by the velocity of light in a vacuum. Which of the following has the biggest effect on the velocity factor of a transmission line? Answer, dielectric materials used in the line. Why is the physical length of a coaxial cable transmission line shorter than its electrical length? Answer, electrical signals move more slowly in a coaxial cable than in air. What impedance does a half-wavelength transmission line present to a generator when the line is shorted at the far end? Answer very low impedance. What is the approximate physical length of a solid polyethylene dielectric coaxial transmission line that is electrically one-fourth wavelength long at 14.1 MHz? Answer, 3.5 meters. What is the approximate physical length of an air-insulated, parallel conductor transmission line that is electrically one-half wavelength long at 14.10 MHz? Answer, 10.6 meters. How does ladder line compare to small diameter coaxial cable such as RG58 at 50 MHz? Answer, lower loss. Which of the following is a significant difference between foam dielectric coaxial cable and solid dielectric cable, assuming all other parameters are the same? Answer, all these choices are correct. Foam dielectric has lower safe operating voltage limits. Foam dielectric has lower loss per unit of length. Foam dielectric has higher velocity factor. What is the approximate physical length of a foam polyethylene dielectric coaxial transmission line that is electrically one-fourth wavelength long at 7.2 MHz? Answer, 8.3 meters. What impedance does a one-eighth wavelength transmission line present to a generator when the line is shorted at the far end? 
Answer, an inductive reactance. What impedance does a 1 8 wavelength transmission line present to a generator when the line is open at the far end? Answer, a capacitive reactance. What impedance does a 1 4 wavelength transmission line present to a generator when the line is open at the far end? Answer, very low impedance. What impedance does a 1 4th wavelength transmission line present to a generator when the line is shorted at the far end? Answer, very high impedance. The Smith chart. Which of the following can be calculated using a Smith chart? Answer, impedance along transmission lines. What type of coordinate system is used in a Smith chart? Answer, resistance circles and reactance arcs. Which of the following is often determined using a Smith chart? Answer, impedance and SWR values in transmission lines. What are the two families of circles and arcs that make up a Smith chart? Answer, resistance and reactance. Which of the following is a common use for a Smith chart? Answer, determine the length and position of an impedance matching stub. On the Smith chart shown in figure E9-3, what is the name for the large outer circle on which the reactance arcs terminate? Answer, reactance axis. On the Smith chart shown in figure E9-3, what is the only straight line shown? Answer, the resistance axis. What is the process of normalization with regard to a Smith chart? Answer, reassigning impedance values with regard to the prime center. What third family of circles is often added to a Smith chart during the process of solving problems? Answer, standing wave ratio circles. What do the arcs on a Smith chart represent? Answer, points with constant reactance. How are the wavelength scales on a Smith chart calibrated? Answer, in fractions of transmission line electrical wavelength. Receiving antennas, radio direction finding antennas, Beverage antennas, specialized receiving antennas, long wire receiving antennas. When constructing a beverage antenna, which of the following factors should be included in the design to achieve good performance at the desired frequency? Answer, it should be one or more wavelengths long. Which is generally true for low band, 160 meter and 80 meter receiving antennas? Answer, Atmospheric noise is so high that gain over a dipole is not important. What is receiving directivity factor, RDF? Answer, forward gain compared to average gain over the entire hemisphere. What is an advantage of placing a grounded electrostatic shield around a small loop direction finding antenna? Answer, it eliminates unbalanced capacitive coupling to the surroundings, improving the nulls. What is the main drawback of a small wire loop antenna for direction finding? Answer, it has a bidirectional pattern. What is the triangulation method of direction finding? Answer, antenna headings from several different receiving locations are used to locate the signal source. Why is RF attenuation used when direction finding? Answer, to prevent receiver overload which reduces pattern nulls. What is the function of a sense antenna? Answer, it modifies the pattern of a DF antenna array to provide a null in one direction. What is a pennant antenna? Answer, a small, vertically oriented receiving antenna consisting of a triangular loop terminated in approximately 900 ohms. How can the output voltage of a multiple turn receiving loop antenna be increased? Answer, by increasing the number of turns and or the area. What feature of a cardioid pattern antenna makes it useful for direction finding? Answer, a very sharp single null.